is Justice Brett Kavanaugh fit to be a justice on the Supreme Court? And according to one Democratic senator, no. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, who sits on the Judiciary Committee, is raising alarms now about the process that the FBI went into for doing an an actual background check on Brett Kavanaugh's past during his confirmation hearing. I think y'all remember it, um, calling it quote politically constrained and perhaps fake, um, and asking the newly appointed Attorney General, ironically Merrick Garland, whose seat Kavanaugh's was supposed to be, mm-hmm. asking him to investigate. So this is from mm-hmm. uh, Senator Whitehouse's letter to Merrick Garland, saying, uh, um, let's see. Let's see, at least two law firms contacted the FBI with names of credible witnesses who had information pertaining to the investigations. One firm provided names of potential witnesses that had information to highly relevant to allegations of misconduct by Judge Kavanaugh. The other firm's letter recounted how counsel for a witness with whom agents had met provided the FBI with more than 20 additional witnesses likely to have relevant information, including this Max Steyer guy who was a Classmate of Kavanaugh's who had corroborating evidence, and the FBI refused to interview Mr. Steyer. Um, obviously, this is, I think you all remember the, the, um, the deposition essentially with Christine Blasey Ford, not a deposition, but the interview with her as she testified that Kavanaugh had attempted to rape her when she was 15, and that there were other witnesses that wanted to come forward, including a woman named Julie Swetnick. Um, I just I just want to go to this letter again. Basically, Sheldon Whitehouse, Senator Whitehouse says there was like this was bizarre behavior on the part of the FBI that they weren't going through the normal processes and channels, and that there was a tip line that was eventually set up. But it this is the third graphic. The tip line appears to have operated more like a garbage chute, with everything that came down the chute consigned without review to the figurative dumpster. John, yeah. Yeah. Um, so look, it's funny because we were just talking about the the recall attempt against News against Newsom. One of the issues in American politics is that what once you get something, it's very difficult to take it away. You know, once you get elected, if we find out that there was improprieties or something like that, you're probably going to stay in. Once a law gets passed, it's difficult to get rid of it. That sort of thing. And once a justice gets on the bench. No matter what you find out, if you're even allowed to find out anything, it would be very difficult to conceive of that justice being taken off. And this is not something that, you know, we're just coming in and discovering. They understand this. Like, this is why they rush through people like Amy Coney Barrett. This is why they tried to avoid having um, an actual investigation. They know that once they get them on there, they're good and they're good for life, they're good for decades. And that is a massive problem. Absolutely, and White House has been raising the alarms on this and on dark money groups. I urge everyone to watch a clip. We don't have time to play here, but you know, during Amy Coney Barrett's hearing, he basically breaks down how dark money groups have had an agenda when it comes to courts in this country. Um, and hey, turns out Kavanaugh had some debts that mysteriously disappeared when he was nominated to be Supreme Court Justice. But look. I think it's important to also like go at like the FBI dropped the ball here. I know everyone's like Christopher Ray, he's doing a good job on white supremacy. Well, he did a bad job on Kavanaugh, and we knew that there were witnesses left on the table when that happened. I don't have to go back to how horrifying and triggering that was for yeah. any anyone who's been a victim of sexual abuse or violence. But just the entire, just the display. That, that Kavanaugh gave was disgusting yeah, too. Absolutely disgusting and, and thankfully at least that I think will tarnish his entire career if not taking away any of the power of his vote for literally decades again. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.